ಶುಕ್ಲಾಂಬ್ರಹ್ಮವಿಚಾರಸಾರಪರಮಾಮಾಧ್ಯಾಂಜಗದ್ಯಾಪಿಣೀಪುಸ್ತಕಧಾರ
they will respectively take av or av adesha. So go plus ya will become gau plus ya and you will get gauvya. Gauvya and it will decline in neuter as gauvyam. Similarly, now plus ya will become now by vanta adesha and you will get navya and in neuter it will decline as navyam in prathama ekavachanam. So navyam is that which can be crossed over by a by a nauka, by a nau and therefore navyam jalam uh, in a sentence it can be used as navyam jalam the water which can be crossed over by a nauka, nau. So this is where we, where Further, there is a Vartika in this, which says Adva Parimanecha. Adva Parimanecha. Parimana is a measure. Ma, ma Mane, Dhatu Ma Mane, Paripurvaka Ma Dhatu, and uh, uh, Lut Pratya gives you Parimana. Parimana is what? Pratipadikam Parimana means a measure. And measure of what? Adva. Adva means a path, Patha. So Patha Parimane. To when? When uh, something is talking about a measure of path or a distance, basically Adva Parimanachi means when the distance is being talked about, then what? Then also this Vanta Adesha will take place. Vanta Yi Pratya. So not only when Yakara Adi Pratya follows, but also when Adva Parimanacha, when Adva Parimana in that scenario also. Adva Parimana here, uh, what it means is here, Yuti. Yuti is a word following. Yuti is not a Pratya. So, Go plus Yuti. In the context of Go plus Yuti, uh, okay, so, Go, here, Go plus Yuti. Now, if yuti, yuti were a pratyaya, if yuti were a pratyaya, then this sutra which is saying that vantu yi pratyaya would have been applicable as it is. But yuti is not a pratyaya and it's, the sutra said what? Yi pratyaya pare. When yakaradi pratyaya follows. But here yakaradi pratyaya is not there. Yuti is a tinanta pada. It is a krudanta pada. And tinanta, ti. Tin pratyaya is added to you, dhatu and you get Yuti Shabda. Yuti means what? Mentioned further. I just mentioned. So Yuti, it is Krudanta Padam, Natu Pratyaha. It is a Krudanta Pada. It is not a Pratyaha. And when you are deriving, this Go plus Yuti, what it is is Yuti is Adho Parimana. Adho Parimana as in, it is giving a distance. It is giving a distance and Go plus Yuti will mean what? Now, this in this case, there is a Sandhi rule which will be invoked and you will get Vanto Yi Pratye extended by Adho Parimanecha. By this Vartika it is extended and you will get Go will become what? Now you will get Go will become Ga. Gau. It will become Gau O. O will become Av by Vanta Adesha and Go will therefore become Gau. And you will get what? Gauvyuti. Gavyutihi, Gavyuti as a Pratipadika and then when it declines it will be Gavyutihi, like Harihi, Hari Shabda. What it means is Kosha Dvayam. Gavyuti means Kosha Dvayam. It is, it is a word which is used to uh, cover, uh, talk about a distance, distance of two Kroshas. Krosha talks about a distance and the meaning of Gavyuti is Kosha Dvayam. How did you get the form Gavyutihi when Go plus Yuti was added by by Vanta Pratya Adesha, extended by a Vartika. We saw Tadanta Vidhi and Tadadi Vidhi. Here Tadadi Vidhi is used. So, G is equal to Yakara, Yakara Adhav. Yakara Adi, Ya will be this Ya Pratya. Yakara, Yakara is the Pratya here. Uh, yakara is not the Pratya. In the Sutra, Yakara, seventh case of Yakara is used as Y, like Maruti. Marut becomes Maruti, similarly Ya. Yakara will become Yi and when you say Yadi or Yakaradi with uh, Tadadi Vidhi that has to now decline in 7th case like Yakara became Yi 
this yakaradi or yadi should become seventh case and that will be yado or yakaradu yakaradu pare so that is the complete coverage of the sutra i think in the end i did not cover the vartika so i finish that let's move on to the next sutra very commonly used adeng guna adeng guna is the sutra let me just highlight it so adeng guna what is the padacheda at eng guna at is first case singular eng is first case singular and guna is first case singular so it is a sanya sutra it is saying at at and eng Eng is a pratyahara. They are what? Called as guna. Guna is a sanya given for that. Vritti says, At eng cha guna sanya ha syat. At and eng would be called as guna. So they get the sanya. Guna sanya they get. What is at now? Eng we know a om. By the Maheshwara Sutra we know a om. So a om is a and o. A and O are guna. What is at? At is just the, just a. A is just a as in akara. Akara, the matra of akara. Whatever has the matra of akara, that, that akara. Uh, we have seen varieties. We have seen varieties of aludit savaranasya cha pratyaha. So it stands for all its variants. A in the Maheshwara Sutra, A, A, E, Un. So that A stands for all its varieties, whether it is, there is Bheda in uh, Swara, in uh, whether it is Anunasika or Ananunasika, and what other Bhedas? Such Bhedas of Ananunasika and Anunasika, and three Swara Bhedas, there you get six varieties. But when that is applied to Dhirghattvam and Plutattvam. Dhirgha and Plutha also of A. Akaras, Dhirgha, Akara, Akara and Akara. And then their nasalized forms and their various Swaras, with various Swaras. You will have many varieties, 18 forms you will have. But At, when you add this Takara, after that A, then A's Matra is one Matra. It is single Matra. Now, 18 varieties are shorted to just one matra variety. So, you will get six varieties a nasalized, non nasalized, and in three different saras, swaras. So, you will get six varieties. That is all it will include. It will not include dimatrika akara and trimatrika pruta. Those will not be included by a when ta is added. This is called as tapara karanam. So, tapara karanam and for this, that purpose, what Laghu Rittikara does, he, he does is, he introduces that sutra to explain what At means. At has to be understood by understanding the meaning of Ta here. And this Ta, Takara, is introduced uh, in a sutra, Taparas Tatkalasya. So in the context of the Sandhi, he brings in this sutra, Taparas Tatkalasya. What does it mean? Padacheda first, ta paraha, tat kalasya. Tat kalasya is a single word in shashti ekvachana. Ta paraha is a prathama ekvachana. See, shashti, here this is a ta paraha. Ta paraha is what? Tat kalasya bhoti. Tat kalasya eva bhoti, ta paraha. So whatever is ta paraha, that is Tatkalasya. So now we have to understand the Samasa. Tapara is also Samasa. Tatkalasya is also Samasa. Pratiparika for Tatkalasya is what? Tatkala. Tatkala is the Pratiparika. So you have to understand what Tatkala means and then decline that in Shashti. First this Tapara is explained. Taha Paraha Yasmat Saha Cha 
उच्चार्यमाण समकाल वृत्ति बट इन दि वृत्ति दि लघु वृत्ति समास वृत्ति ऑफ दिस वर्ड इज ऑलो गिवेन तपर वॉट इज तपर तपर is seen as there are two samasas here two ways you can solve the samasas and both the meaning stand in a single word here taparaha is also panchami tatpurusha as well as it is a panchami tatpurusha as well as it is a bahurihi what is the bahurihi here tah tah here takaraha this akara in this tah is for uchcharana it is only for pronunciation What is the paraha yasmat? Yasmat. For from whatever word there is word or letter from whatever letter whichever letter there is. So here you see at in the example at at if we take the at example and understand this the paraha. So at is equal to the paraha at. It is the paraha. At is the paraha. so this takara is following a and that takara is is what is this taparas takara and in the samasa it says that tah tah this tah is the only akara is for pronunciation therefore takara parah yasmat yasmat akara this the यस्मात अकारात त परह भवति सह अकारः इज व्हाट देन तपरह तपरह अकारः सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज अत व्हाट इट मींस इज अत इज दैट अत इज रियली दैट अकारः व्हिच हैज तकारा फॉलोइंग इट दैट्स द मीनिंग दैट्स दैट इज वन वृत्ति समास वृत्ति ऑफ तपरह सेकंड वृत्ति इज व्हाट so what it means is that ta takaraha paraha yasmat akara sah akaraha taparaha tapara it uchyate and therefore it is at now second vritti is what ch by ch it is said sah ch tatparascha तात्पर सेकेंड वृत्ति तात्पर तात्पर इज वॉट तात इज पंचमी ऑफ त एंड अकार दर इज उच्चारणार्थी सो तात्पर तात्पर एंड तात्पर हियर इज वॉट हियर इन अदिंग अत अत वॉज अंडरस्टूड बाय बहुरी तकारह परह यस्मात अकारात यस्मात अकारात तकारह परह सह अकारा दैट अकारा इज बीइंग टॉक्ड अबाउट एज तपरह अत नाउ सो दैट वाज तपरह अत सॉरी या भाई दिस हैज टू गो अर्लीयर नाउ तात्परह तात्परह इज व्हाट एंग एंग इज सॉरी प्रिंट अप एंग इज इस तात्पर हाउ सो तकारात्पर तकारात पर यंग सो तक आई नॉट से यंग एंग सो यंग आई कैन से यंग ऑल्सो बट देन पीपल जनरली यूज य the uh, yat and tat shabda in a bahuri vigraha so i don't want confusion but bahuri is never in samanadikarana with the anya pada so i can say to explain for explanation i'll say takarat parah ya eng sah taparah eng this eng eng is taparah it, it it is so eng is also called taparah and at is also called as taparah so now you have by using one samasa vritti bahuri you got tapara is equal to at and by another uh, panchami tatpurusha tatpara tatpara tapara you got what ing 
that which follows takara. So in this sutra, this adeng gunaha, what have you got? At, at and aeng. This takara, within sandhi which has become takara, here there is takara. So at aeng, at aeng gunaha. In this at aeng, takara is following a, therefore this a is what? Tapara, taparaha and Aing is also what? Tat paraha and therefore Tat paraha is also it is following this takara therefore Aing is also taparaha. So now with tapara you got A as A is taparaha, Aing is also taparaha. In one word taparaha two meanings are included and therefore he made a the Laghu Rittikara made a kind of a dvandva samasa. He said taparaha yasmat one bahuri taparaha and sa cha sa taparaha. So sa taparaha cha tatparascha taparaha. So taparascha taparascha taparaha. That's what it means. Finally what it means is that taparaha is equal to what? This, with this bahuri vigraha you got at and uh, Sacha is given, so just a second, let me think. Yeah, I think it will be... Uh, okay, so, uh, and Taparaha Cha. So this Taparaha, Taparaha Cha. What is the second Taparaha? Taparaha is Aing. Aing. Cha what? So Taparaha Cha, Taparaha Cha is equal to Acha Engcha. What is that? Ucharya Mahana. Ucharya Mahana Samakalasya Eva Sanyasya. Is Taparaha. This is, is equal to Taparaha. That's what the meaning of Tapara is. And this Tapara is Tapara Tatkalasya Bhoti. What is Tatkalasya? Now he is explaining what is Tatkalasya. Tatkalasya is equal to Ucharya Mahana Samakalasya Eva Sanyasya. Ucharya Mahana Samakalasya. That is what Tatkalasya, the meaning of Tatkalasya. What is the Samasa Tatkalaha now? You have to see what is the meaning of, I'll shift this above so that we know what are these two Taparas. There are two Taparas, they are explained as first Tapara and second Tapara. This is also Taparaha. This is equal to Tatparaha. Here it was what? Taparaha. This is equal to here Bahuri. So first one is Bahuri, second is uh, Panchami Tatpurusha and thereby uh, two Taparas are there and that is Taparaha, Taparaha Cha. Taparaha Cha, Taparaha Cha, Taparaha. Finally, it will be tapara only. Now, what is this tatkalasya? Tatkalasya eva sanyasya. That is explained here as ucharya mana samakalasya eva. For that, we have to understand what is the tatkala samasa. Tatkala. Tatkala samasa is what? Tasya. Tat is, it expands as shashti. In a samasa, it is a pratipadika is tat. And tat expires tasya kalaha iva kalaha yasya saha tat kalaha. That is the bahuri samasa, like gaja mukha. Gajasya mukham iva mukham yasya saha gaja mukha. Similarly, tasya kalasya iva tasya kala iva, not kala iva, sorry. Tasya Kalasya Iva Kalaha Yasya. So that which has Ucharya Mana Kalas and Tasya Kalasya Tasya Ucharya Mana Kalasya Iva Kalaha. Kala is equal to Ucharya Mana Kala. Ucharya Manaha Ucharya Mana Kalaha Yasya Sahatat Kalaha. So what it is saying is that. This Ucharya Mahana Kala is the Matra. 
pronunciation matra so that which has an equivalent matra iva matra equivalent to this iva we have seen earlier also uh, we have seen in uh, what is hraswa uh, dirga uh, pluta there we have seen that uh, not there uh, yeah u kalo hraswa dirga pluta yeah in that sutra we have seen u kala what is u kala so uscha 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 uh Ooh, that that's what was said earlier in that sutra under that sutra lagu vritti it was said and there we had seen that kala hiva kala u kala se kala hiva kala there we have seen that similarly here tasya uchare vanasya kal uh, uchare vana kala se eva uchare vana kala yasya satatka so i am uchare vana i am explaining this is not there in the samasa in samasa only kala is there that is uchare vana kala that pronunciation matra is similar and here what it means is that a a is what a is one matra so only that single matra akara and its variants but only of single matra ing is what a and o ing are a and o a is what dirgha o is also dirgha but a ing a a does not have a hraswa here akara akara is one matra but a in the maheshwara sutra includes a and a it includes hraswa dirga pluta bheda here though a does not have a hraswa a is always dirga but it can have a pluta so you can have a trimatrika a you can have a trimatrika o also that is pluta o kara o kara to avoid those getting guna sanya here taparat karanam is done and thereby ta is placed before so this uh, in adeng guna this takara plays two roles restricting the matra of a to single matra and matra of ing is equal to matra of a and o to two matras here to one matra and here to two matras here it is excluding pluta here it is excluding dirgha and pluta both that is the purpose of tapara karana it restricts it to takara restricts to matra it restricts the bheda savarnas to matra only not beyond that matra not less not more so here by what we get the meaning as now of this sutra which we are look at adeng guna what it means that akara ekara and okara without their raswa dirga uh, raswa without their dirga and pluta bhedas here and without ekara and okara pluta bhedas only ekamatrika akara and dvimatrika ekara and okara get guna sanya that's what this sutra means the, this is the understanding we get with taparas tatkalasya paribhashika sutra further where is this guna sanya used for that uh, so uh, adeng guna is not a achandi sutra adeng guna is a guna sanya sutra it's a sanya sutra the uh, sandhi sutra is achandi sutra is ad guna i may have said uh, earlier that next sandhi sutra but leading to the next sandhi sutra adeng guna is not a sandhi sutra it is the second sutra in the sutra patha but it is a sanya sutra it is giving the guna sanya so after hoa so we saw first uh, sandhi sutra in at sandhi is what iko yanachi then we saw uh, hoa eva and we saw vanto e pratyay also now we have landed into the fourth uh, sandhi sutra ad guna ad guna ha what does this sutra say it says at at gunah at is what panchami ek vachana guna is a vidhi this is a vidhi sutra guna is prathama ek vachana so guna is ordained and since guna is needed to be understood as what is guna what is ordained guna is ordained means what guna is not an attribute or a quality 
Guna is a, has a technical meaning here. It is a Sanya. And Sanya which stands for A. Akara, Ekara and Okara. So Eka, Akara, Ekara, Okara are the Adeshas for, for what? Art. When it is they are followed by Art. Now you look at Sutra Patha. In Sutra Patha, 6187 is the Sutra. Some Sutras may have it, uh, couple of Sutras of numbers of, but Ad Gunaha. Ad Gunaha is 6187. And here, what is the Anurutti? First you look at the Adhikara. So if you have your Sutra Patas and from the earlier Patha, if you have marked the Adhikaras, what is the immediately preceding Adhikara here? Adhikara Sutra. Ad Gunaha, the immediately preceding Sutra is uh, where the Adhikara Sutra is marked is 72. 6172. So 6172 says what? This is common to all the Sandhi, Sandhi Prakarana. It is Samhitaya. Samhitaya. Saptami of Samhita. Saptami Ekvachana. Samhitaya Vishaye. In the situation of Samhita means when there is an association. In the same, uh, same Adhikara we have seen Ekoyanachi, Echoyavayavaha and Vantoyi Pratye. These are also, we have seen these sutras in Samhita uh, section itself, Adhikara. This Adhikara goes to 158 wherein the sutra that we are looking at right now, this Ad Gunaha also falls in there. Now Ad Gunaha has an anurutti of Samhitaya, it also has an anurutti of a of Ekaha Purva Parayoho. Ekaha Purva Parayoho, this sutra, Ekaha Purva Parayoho. This goes to triple one. And 87 is well within that range. So here you have Samhitaya Vishaye. Eka Puro Pareo Ad Gunaha Ad Gunaha after A and Achi also is there is an Anuritti. See Eko and Achi. Achi, where does it go till? Achi goes till 125. So here we have Anuritti. If you have to mark Anurittis on this, starting with Adhikar also, what will you get? Ad Gunaha. Samhitayam is the first Adhikara. Samhitayam. Then we have, from Eko Yanachi you have Achi. Then you have, what? What else do you have here? See, Achi goes here till 125. So, Samhitayam goes till 158. Achi goes till 125. Then you have further Ekaha Purva Parayoho. Ekaha, entire thing. Ekaha Purva Parayoho. What else? Nothing else needed now. Art goes further till 96. Art goes further. So, Art Gunaha Samhitayam Vishaye Achipare. So, this is Parasaptami. Achipare. I can add that. Achipare. Samhitayam Vishaye. Achi pare ekaha purva parayo ho adesha syat. It's a vidhi sutra. Therefore, adesha syat. This is what I can expand. But just keeping anugrutis also, I'll get, I'll get this parasaptami pare and vishay. So, I'll just mark the anugrutis right now. Vishay I'll remove. Pare also I'll remove. And now you look at the vritti. What does it say? This Aath, Aath is Panchami Ekvachan of what? Ramat. What is the Pratiparika? A. A is the Pratiparika. So Aath, A and A includes what kind of Vedas? It is not Aath. What we saw earlier, Adeng Gunaha, there we saw Aath. Here we have A and A includes all its varieties. Therefore, A Varnat. Not Akara, but A Varnat. Achi Pare. See, Pare, Parasaptami. This achi, avarnat. Uh, how avarnat? Because a uh, does not have 
Tapara Karnam. Therefore, A will stand for all its varieties, meaning A Varna. A Varna, A Varna Achi Pare, when a vowel follows an A Varna, then what? Gunaha Adesha Syat. But what? Purva Parayoho Ekaha. Purva Parayoho Ekaha, how do you get? By this, Purva Parayoho. Purva Parayoho Ekaha. This sutra walks in as an Anuvrutti. Avarnad achi pare purva parayoho ekaha gunaha adesha syat. This is the vritti and this vritti we get. We don't even need to refer to laghu if we have marked the adhikara and we look at the anuvrittis of the sutras. This is how laghukara gets his vritti. So adesha syat, it is a vidhi sutra, therefore adesha he brings in, adesha syat. What does it mean? Whenever an a varna is followed by what? Ach. A vowel. So a varna is followed by a vowel. So a, 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 any of these three and their uh, anunasika, ananunasika, bhedas, all those. Just consider all those. Then what is replaced now? So far what we have seen here in ekoyanachi, ek is replaced. Ekahastane. Achi, uh, achi pare uh, yan adesha bhoti. And then what did we see? Echa, echa. So, echo yava yavaha. So, echa, uh, echa, ay, au, ay, au adesha. So, for ech the adesha is there. Ech is a single sthani. In eko, uh, eko yanichi also, ek is a single sthani. Here though, in ad uh, this thing ad gunaha, what is it saying? Ekaha, Puro Parayoho Eka Adesha. Puro Parayoho, Puro Parayoho Aksharayoho. See, both these Aksharas which are pronounced, both these sounds, both, both a varna letter as well as the what is following. What is following is Ach. So both a varna which is preceding and Ach which is following, both are replaced by, both are Sthanis now. So Puro Parayoho Sthane, Sthane, so Sthane, Puro Parayoho Sthane, Eka Adesha Hoti. So Sthane or Sthane Yoho, Puro Parayoho Sthane Yoho if you take two, but it is a single Sthane, both become one Sthane, so you can say Puro Parayoho Sthane also. Instead of this Puro and Para letters, Eka Adesha Hoti, only single one Adesha, Eka. And what is that Adesha? That Adesha is given as Gunaha, Gunaha Adesha Hoti. So taking an example now, Upendraha and Gangodakam are two examples given. What is Upendraha? Up, Upa, Indraha. So when Upa and Indra are being derived, Upa is added to Indra, then this is what Up, A, E, Indraha. So I'll just separate these out. Sandhi between these two letters. Between words, of course, Upa and Indra, when they are pronounced uh, in close proximity, Samhitayam Vishaye, then there is a Sandhi. What is that Sandhi? Sandhi is actually between A and E. That time, Purva Parayo. Purva is A. Purva Parayo. Purva Akara and Para Ikarayo. Purva Akara, Para, I, para Ikarayo, Madhye. Uh, not Madhye, sorry. Uh, tayo ho. Ekaha gunaha adesha syat. So, for, for these thani, this thani, you can say these thanis because there are two, but really there is only one sthani. Both are replaced by a eka adesha. This is also called as eka adesha. Section of eka adesha. There is only single adesha. And eka adesha is what? For puro parayu, for both. And that is gunaha. What is the guna for akara and ikara? Now you have to see this sutra that we had seen earlier as to how to interpret the Adesha. So we saw which, which sutra? One is Yatha Sankhya Manudesha Samana. Then there is earlier sutra that we saw how to identify the equivalence. There we saw Sthane Antartamaha. Sthane Antartamaha. So Antartamattum has to see between the Sthani and the Adesha. And that is, that is what between Akara Ikara and Guna. Gunas are what? Between 
Now between akara ikara on one side, akara and ikara on one side, and what do we have on the other side? On the other side we have guna, which is a, e, and sorry a, a, and o, padeng guna ha. So one of these akara, ekara, or o kara will be the adesha for both akara and ikara. Now we have to see between a and a there is hundred percent samya. But does A have a Samya with E also? It does not. So you have, here you have Talavya. And here you have A, which is Kantha. So Kantha and Kantha, there is a 100% Samya, Antaratamattva. But Ikara and Akara, there is no Samyatva. What about Okara? Okara is Kanthoshtya. So Kanthoshtya, this Akara is Kantha. So there it is matching. Ikara is Talavya. It does, it's not matching. So, Ekara matches because it is, it is Kantho, uh, Kantha Talu. And this is also, this is Kantha A and E is Talu. Therefore, you get Kantha Talu. You get Kantha Talu for A, E as Samya in A. Antaratamattva is only with A. Therefore, A will be the Adesha now. So, A, A is the Guna Adesha Syat when Upa and Indriya. So, Upa Indriya when you are adding Upa and Indra, adding as in when there is a Samhita. It's a single word. So here it is mandatory. Akara and Ikara will be replaced by Ekara. Therefore you will get what? Upa. Up is there and A. You will get Upe. Upendraha. Okay, this is Upendra example. What about Gangodakam? Ganga. Ganga Udakam. It's a single word. It's a samasa. Here also Upendra is what? This is, um, it's a prefix and the word. Between the prefix and the word also, considering it as an Upasarga. If it is an Upasarga, Upasarga is a technical word. So I'll just loosely use it. Upasarga. Preferably I'll say prefix. So between this prefix Upa and Indra, there is an Itya Sandhi. Here between Ganga and Udaka, Ganga Udaka, uh, Ganga Yaha Udakam. It's a Shashti Tatpurusha. So it's a Samasa. And in Samasa also, Sandhi is Nitya. Sandhi has to be made. Therefore, Ganga and Udakam, there will be Sandhi. Now, Ganga Udakam is what? Gang, Ganga and Udakam. I just separated between these two. There is a Sandhi. And what will that Sandhi be between? It is a Guna. Ekaha Puro Parayo Eka Adesha. Between a, a is Purva, U is Para. Between these two, there, for, for these two, not between these two, for these two, there is a single Adesha, Eka Adesha, and that is Guna. What is that Guna Adesha? Here, U, U is, has a labial uh, uh, Sana. So, A is Kantha. So, Kantha and Oshtya, Kantoshtya, both put together will be Kantoshtya. And Kantoshtya you get only in Okara. Therefore, Okara will be the Adesha and you will get Gang Godakam. Now, this ends the Sutra, but let's look at something more in the Sutra Patha. If Ad Gunaha says Achi Pare, when a Varna letter is followed by an Ach, by a vowel, then there should be Guna. But is it really true in all cases? What if H follows? H is also part of Ach. It's a vowel. And H are what? A, A and A, 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 O, I, O. Ouch. So A, O, I and O. When they follow, that time Vruddhi Rechi Sutra walks in. So Vruddhi Rechi says that when Aath, so say Aath has an anurti till 96. So when Avarna is followed by an Ach, general rule is what? Guna Adesha. But a specific rule says that when uh, in, the, uh, in the ach letters, in the vowels, if H follows that time, guna na bhavati, vruddhi bhavati. There is a vruddhi adesha. So this is, a, this is an apavada. Vruddhi is an apavada to guna. Not guna, but vruddhi adesha will take place. We will see this when we see this. I am just mentioning, just because we know this one ad gunaha achipare, it should not be applicable in all cases when ach follows. 
a varna but there may be some some other sutra which will counter that oppose another sutra which opposes that is will come further uh, yeah say so, akas savarne dirgha so akas savarne dirgha savarna dirgha sandhi what we know as savarna dirgha sandhi here also achi achi there is an anuvritti this achi goes till 125 and one to this this sutra is akas savarne dirgha is 101 it is well within that range so akaha for an ak pratyaha this ak a e un real rik so when for all of these where avarna is also included this avarna of a is included in ak ak in ak a is a part therefore avarna is a part of ak that ak it is broader than avarna because it includes e u ri and r also however there is a partial out of this ak part of this includes a and that a is here as well at in this at is avarnat pare avarnat avarnat pare achi pare guna adesha syat but if it is savarna savarne pare savarne achi pare if it is a, the vowel is a savarna vowel meaning what for savarna for a is a a a, a and a hraswa dirga pluta and all varieties are savarna to avarna therefore when a a or a are followed by any of the a a or a then in that case there will be savarna dirga sandhi there will be aakara dirga is dvimatrika therefore you will get aakara when a varna is followed by any of the a varna letters savarna they are savarna therefore any combination of a a a and followed by a a a any of these combinations then there will be savarna dirga not guna so guna is the general adesha but not when h follows or when savarna avarna follows these are the partial apvada to ad guna with that we complete the uh, this sutra ad guna next sutra before going to the next sandhi sutra what he does is that he explains another it letter which we had not seen this sutra we had not seen although we know what this it letter is we had not seen this sutra in detail this is out of sequence in the ashtadhyay in ashtadhyay 132 so 132 this section you see 131 is what One three one is Bhuvade Dhata. Forget that. But in the Sanya Prakarana, this Upadeshi Janunasika It Sutra is introduced by Lagukara as a twenty-eighth sutra. Before that, he has covered this sutra Halantyam, which is his first sutra. Lagu starts this the Lagu Patha starts with Halantyam, and Halantyam what Halantyam It It has an Anuruti Upadeshi Halantyam. it sanyakam syat so that is the vritti we saw in halantyam the first sutra in lagu but he goes back and he covers this upadeshi janunasika it because he is going to talk about uran raparaha next and to explain uran raparaha this raparaha is what ra paraha in the sutra here is ra paraha this ra is nasalized refa refa followed by refa followed by sorry so refa followed by anunasika akara that anunasika is an it letter to explain that he introduces the sutra upadeshe janunasika it sutra says upadeshe aj ach अनुनासिक इत सो उपदेशे अच इन संधि इट हैज बिकम जकारा चकारा बाय चोहो को परैप्स इट हैज बिकम जकारा अनुनासिक इत अनुनासिक इत 
उपदेशे वोट उपदेशे सप्तमी अच प्रथमा अनुनासिक प्रथमा इत प्रथमा संज्ञा सूत्र इत इत इस दी संज्ञा इंट्रोड्यूस्ड व्हाट इस दैट अनुनासिक अच इन उपदेश इन एन उपदेशा उपदेशे इस वोट आद्योचरण उपदेशा आद्योचरण व्हाटेवर इस इस प्रोनाउंस और क्रिएटेड फर्स्ट बाय दी Vedanta, sorry, not Vedanta, Sanskrit Acharyas, Vyakrana Acharyas, Vyakrana Acharyas for us Munitrayas, by Munitrayas, whatever work is created, they are called as Upadeshas, and in Upadeshas, an Ach, a vowel, which is Anunasika, so Anunasika, Upadeshya Anunasika ha, Ach, it Sanyaka Syat, that is what we understand with the Sutra, what the Lagukara, Lagurutti says Upadeshe Anunasika, Anunasika, sorry, Anunasika, so Upadeshe Anunasika ha, Ach, Ach, it Sanya ha, Syat. So it gets an It Sanya, it gets a name It, and just like earlier we have seen Halantyam It, what happens to It, Tasse Lopaha Bhavati. Here, uh, he explains, further he explains, see what has happened is that even uh, in Uran Rapara, in most of the books you will not find this R as marked as R, nasalized R, it will not be marked in many books. Even if it is marked while reading, Patha goes as Uran Rapara, very few people would say, say Uran Rapara, they will not nasalize it, because this nasalization Anunasika is lost in the Sampradaya. In Vyakrana, in some places in Vedas also it is getting lost, but in Vyakrana it is definitely lost. And not only in Vyakrana, all these swaras and uh, uh, this nasalization, all that had meaning even in Laukika, Laukika Bhasha. All that is lost much, 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 much earlier than it was lost in the Vyakrana Shastra. Interestingly, during the Laghukara's time also it was lost, uh, the Swaras. So he says, Pratidnyanu nasikyaha paniniyaha. This, how do we know that this paniniya? Paniniya is all the paniniya shastra and these words where the, you have it letters, these uh, Swaras, where there is it. They were it by anunasika. See, it by halantyam. Halantyam is not lost. Halantyam we know all... Uh, Consonants are still existent in the language. Obviously, that they make up the language along with the vowels. They make up the alphabet, so to say, Sanskrit alphabet, alphabet, aksharas. But anunasika, this nasalization is lost. So he says, how do you know which is nasalized? How do you know know that something is an it letter because it is a vowel which is nasalized? How do you know that? Even if it is lost in the Sampradaya, in pronunciation, he says that Pratijnya Anunasikyaha Paniniyaha. This Pratijnya is the teaching, in the teaching, in the Sampradaya, from Acharya to Shishya, in the Vyakrana Acharya, Vyakrana Sampradaya, Vyakrana Acharya would teach the Vyakrana Shishya as to where is this Anunasika. Raparaha. So Raparaha, this is Anunasika. Or in the, uh, if you recall the Maheshwara Sutra, there he says that uh, Hakaradishu, Hakaradishu Akara Ucharanartha, but Lan Madhya to Itsanyaka. Uh, Lagukara had said that. Lan Madhya, in the Lan Sutra, everywhere in all other Maheshwara Sutras, all 13 Sutras, Akara, which is used along with this Hal, Hal as in Hakaradi, Hayavarat, from there to the last Hal Sutra Hal, in all of those Hakaradi Shu, in all those Sutras, Akara which is used is for Hayavara, so there Hayavara, in those Hakara, Yakara, Vakara and Repa is being talked about, but that Akara which follows, that is only for pronunciation. But Lan Madhyetu, in the Sutra Lan, that Akara which follows Lakara, that is Itsanyaka. Lan Madhya to Itsanyaka. Why? Because it is, Lan is Lan. It is nasalized Akara after Lakara. So that is what he is saying. That Pratijnya Anunasikyaha Paniniya. They learn in the Sutra, Lan also you may not see Anunasika Akara, 
but it is anunasika you know only through the teaching sampradaya that's what pratijna anunasikya paniniha means and he explains that lan sutrastha avarnena saha ucharyamana refa refa ralayo ho sanya and thereby he brings about this lan sutra in the maheshwara sutra lan sutrastha avarna that avarna which is there in the lan sutra the sutra is what lan in this sutra lan this akara he says lan sutrastha avarnena saha ucharyamana refa which is what this in lan sutra avarnena saha avarnena says along with this a this refa which is pronounced refa is what ha ya varat so you have ha ya the sutra or here ha ya va ra and ta, rat then lan these are the sutras right so he says this refa which is pronounced along with this akara so you will get what ra this ra that you get this ra is equal to what refa refa and sura so refa and l so starting from here this is an it letter takara is an it letter so starting from here till this l this is what is the sutra hayavara run run so i'll just put them together equal to r and that is equal to what re find lakara is equal to what re f lakara yo ho or what is said as ralayo ho ralayo is re f lakara yo ho ralayo ho yo ho is equal to re f lakara yo ho sanya So it stands for refa and lakara. That is what is said. Ralayo ho or refa lakara yo ho sanyasyat. So how do you say refa and lakara? It is said by r. It is said as r. And that he needs in the next sutra where he says uran rapara ha. That sutra he wants to talk about uran rapara because he has covered guna. and whenever guna takes place as an adesha for particular aksharas for particular stanis then it will not be just guna that guna will be followed by a refa or lakara or something like that that he is saying in the maharshi is saying in uran rapara sutra that has been introduced by lagukara now and for that he has to explain this uh, this Uh, after refa you have a uh, and r uh, what does r uh, mean there r uh, means by anunasika it it means this refa and lakara r uh, means refa and lakara this takara is an it it is it should not be marked as bond so refa and lakara put together will make r uh, r uh, pratyara r uh, is a pratyara which will stand for refa and lakara and that is what is meant in uran rapara we'll see this sutra in the ne- in the next part of tomorrow we'll see this in tomorrow night i'll explain what this uran rapara sutra means i'll just mark this so that we have started it so we'll see this sutra tomorrow नत्वा सरस्वतीदुद्धा गुण्या कौम्यहम पाणीय प्रवेशय लघु सिद्धांत सॉरी रेड्डी लॉन्ग वन सो लास्ट वन लतावसने नटराजराज नाधक्कापंचवरमु काम सनकामर्शे शिवसूत्रजाल any questions